Say good morning. Say good morning. Well, welcome back to another vlog. Nothing but face. <laughs> Nothing but face. It's good morning, you guys. So today is September 11th, and um, welcome back to another vlog. I actually just came back from the grocery store, and I just had to like re-up on some things. I spent like th almost $300, but I did not get everything that I needed to. I just kind of got like a bunch of, I won't say junk, but I got things that I normally don't get. Um, but, <laughs> thing, just looking at me. I got things that I normally don't get but i wanted to try and you know do something like different so that's the reason why i got them oh and then i got like a few things for zane as well and, you know pet stuff is just always expensive so i'm about to do this grocery haul with you guys and then um i need to clean and you know just do some work on the internet i got about two weeks here before i actually head back home and i'm like legit like quarantining like that's the reason why i bought all these groceries because i just don't want to go anywhere whatsoever um because i'm going back home in like two weeks and i just want to be very cautious and considerate of my parents because they are older um and yeah so i'm just gonna quarantine for you know <clears throat> up until i leave for thanksgiving which will probably be like a day or two before it's just a lot to handle zane and all that i think i'm gonna have some good content as well i have some p.o box unboxing that i need to do um we're decorating for christmas i know thanksgiving ain't got here yet and usually i wait to after thanksgiving but my christmas decoration be up for like a month because i do not keep them up going into the new year like i take them down at least two days before because you know yes good boy i'm superstitious my parents always told me <laughs> don't bring that christmas decoration on to the new year okay like that's just me so anyway i want to be able to enjoy it a little bit more because christmas legit look at zane because christmas is legit my favorite 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 holiday so i just want to enjoy it so yeah that's what we're doing this week um or this weekend i'm going to my storage to get my christmas decoration and then all the fall decoration right there that will be um going back into storage so yeah and then i'm thinking about decorating my balcony maybe putting some christmas pillows out there i don't know <clears throat> okay i don't know we're gonna go ahead and do this grocery haul but yeah zane doesn't he is stuck on the couch he doesn't know how to get down i wish he knew how to get down i'm gonna let you down baby all right so I'm gonna do the haul real quick for you guys. So we got Kool-Aid jammers. I got these Seagram's. We got paper towels. I got these Starbucks Frappuccino chill coffee drink. They are so good, you guys. I just needed these because like, honestly, I'm so tired of trying to make my own little, you know, latte and all that. Like, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I got Sprite. Sprite. We got cereal. Cereal, frosted flakes. Oh shit. Well. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Pringles. Chicken tenders or tenderloins. Got some shrimp. I got two lobster tails. I actually got some fresh sea scallops here. I got some curly fries. Spring mix. Strawberries. Ooh. Now I'm just dropping everything. <laughs> French green beans, we got some red potatoes, I got limes, we got asparagus, I got some baby carrots, but I got these for Zane. So what I do is I just like cut these up and Zane loves eating these. And I just give this, this to him for like as a little snack. I got lemon, oranges, a sweet onion. I think they're called like a Valdea, Valdea. Don't correct me, your girl really don't know how to say it, to be honest. But I think it's called like a Valdea, Valdea sweet onion. We got Welch snacks, berries and cherries, milk. I'm trying out this um, Starbucks caramel non-dairy creamer. It's almond and oat milk. So I'm trying this out. I've been hearing like really, really great reviews about it. I got syrup. We got orange juice, no pulp. I got, I'm not even gonna go through all of these. But I got like a whole bunch of like mashed potatoes. Something like really, really quick and easy. But yeah, it was 10 for 10. So we got all of these mashed potatoes. I got some tenderized cube steak. I got uh, premium crab, crab meat. I got these, they just, <laughs> 
they place the food any type of way. Um, I got these buttermilk biscuits, um, the flaky kind for breakfast. Oh, here's some more of these uh, mashed potatoes. I got Twix, Reese's, Chipotle aioli. Um, it's like a sauce, so I'm gonna try this on a sandwich. And then this is like a little bit of my stuff, a little bit of Zane's stuff. I actually got some, and I also got some water, you guys, but I'm not about to like pick up that water because it's a, it's a 35 pack and it's heavy, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, but I did get some water. Um, but yeah, so I just got some hand wash, the Method kind. I do like this brand. This is sweet water. And then I also got the sea minerals. I like this one. And then the rest of the stuff is for Zane. I got him this fresh pet um, home cooked chicken recipe. I actually use the fresh pet like um, breakfast and dinner like cups for him, but I decided to try this. Um, I got this Desitin. Um, this is actually like, I think it's like for babies for like, uh, yeah, for dap a diaper rash, but Zane's vet told me to get this because you know, like since he's a French bulldog, like certain, like this area gets a little bit like moist. It causes bacteria and a lot of different things. So she told me to get Desitin, like we had medicated wipes because it got bad, it got so bad um, to the point that we had to get medicated wipes to clean, clear that area. But she told me to put Desitin um, in it and it's gonna keep that area just like dry and things like that. So I just went ahead and got this for him. And then also I got this fresh dental breath spray. I don't know if you can see, but you know, it's just to keep Zane's breath um, smelling good because he's, He's, he's a grown man now, he's grown. It's time for him to start like, you know, getting that breath cleaned and everything <laughs> and everything like that, okay? So he don't have that puppy breath anymore. Yeah, so I got all of that for him. But I also got some chips. I got these organic eggs. I only got six of them because believe it or not, you guys, like I don't like eggs like that anymore. Like I used to love, love, love eggs, but now like everything has changed for me. And then I got some honey wheat bread. Don't mind me, I look real rough right now. Your new sweater. Oh, he winked at y'all. <laughs> Some it's breakfast.
why do I look so crusty right now? <laughs> it's embarrassing. But um, good morning, you guys. I'm about to take Zane for a quick walk. Um, it's probably about eight something, almost nine. It's almost nine in the morning. I'm taking for a quick walk, and we're actually putting up Christmas decorations today or starting it. And I need to like organize. I still need to unpack from Miami. Your girl's time of the month is on. You know, I know it may be TMI but y'all my girls so okay but my time of the month is on and why why is she so disrespectful <laughs> please tell me why is this so disrespectful like oh and it hurts so bad too but anyway if y'all know any like overnight treatment like for your face that i can put on like these type of bumps like let me know that's for like sensitive skin that would be so helpful the other day i got my hair done so i kind of want to walk out your girl got that fresh relaxer look at that look i got another one right here but look at this probably can't see but you can see and i just have it like pin curled and yes girl i'm going out just like this because i don't care I don't care <laughs> but yeah let me hurry up because Zane starts to cry when you know we don't go on a walk in a timely manner. Zane's back from his walk drinking his water Zane you you messed up my moment you're really messing up my moment this bump is messing up my moment Hey, stop, don't do that. Y'all, I have to say, I gotta do this really quick or whatever, but I made it to Ivy Park's page. Okay, this picture right here, period. I don't know if y'all can see it. Bam, this picture that I took on the gram made it to the store, not the page, the store, but it's fine. You know, it's, it's the small things that count but like wow okay i'm super excited because like literally we spent a long time out there on that parking deck to take those pictures um like literally take the pictures i did a reel we did recordings and everything like that because i really wanted to represent my girl well you know what i mean i wasn't able to get all the pieces but the pieces that i did get i was like excited so i'm really excited because like i said it's just a small it's the small things that count oh it wasn't this picture it was this picture let me see if y'all can see yeah so it was this picture that made it to the um page but yes or the story excuse me your girl's so excited but she just manifests and we're gonna be it on the page okay but yeah i'm just happy i'm happy that i made it to the um the story because i mean maybe beyonce will see your girl maybe you know and she'll send me something but either way your girl is still gonna be uh trying to get on this uh this black drip that's happening next week regardless or whatever yeah but i'm just happy i'm excited about that but i just wanted to come on here real quick to tell you guys that but all right let's get back all right you guys so i'm so sorry that i look rough and like this is bothering me so much i'm going to my storage today so i can get some christmas decorations so i can start decorating for christmas um but I am going to like I need to just like clean out everything like I just feel like my bathroom and everything is just like so cluttered and things like that so I just need to clean out everything well I'm not gonna actually do like a deep clean until maybe like you know tomorrow or so but I am going to get rid of products that I'm not using anymore and then I may go to the container store to get some things because I just want to be a little bit more organized like I kind of feel like organization has left the building and I need it to you know get back right so i have a lot of things like even like right here let me just let me show y'all like look at all of this stuff like i have all this stuff here on the counter i've been living out this toiletry bag and like i mean i just need to get it together like let's 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 clean all this up okay
But yeah, so I finished getting everything out that I'm not using anymore. These are all the products that I'm not using. Some of them are new products, but they're expired um, or I'm just never going to like use them. So yeah, these are all the products right here. Not that in the back, but just this trash, all of these. And then like I said, I need to go through there. That's trash. And then these are all the products right here as well um, that I'm throwing away. So just all of these. And so that we're headed to um, Bath and Body Works right now. I'm gonna get some Christmas candles because um, Christmas is coming up. So I definitely want to decorate for Christmas or whatever. So yeah, we're gonna get some Christmas candles. I don't know if they're gonna let me film in here, but I'm not trying to do like too much anyway. How are you? This is Christmas stuff. So I see y'all have it all out. Try this one out. I'm gonna get six of these. I'm gonna try this coconut mint drop because it's so pretty. And this ice blue lavender. One, two, three, four. These are just so pretty. This winter candy apple is pretty. Oh, I wish this was in a different package. Vanilla bean Noel. Mm-hmm. Like the or? Oh, I was just saying, like, I just wish it was, like, a different uh, package. Okay. We got some new Christmas goodies. I am now on the way to Home Goods. I'm not even going to pick up a lot of stuff from Home Goods. It's just going to be like, I'm trying to get something for the balcony. Um, probably like two things. I may have to come back here because um, I need to get my Christmas decorations out first because I don't want to overspend. But I know I don't have these pillows and stuff for the uh, balcony. And I'm trying to get like just a cute little vibe for the balcony for Christmas. So yeah, I'm gonna get my decorations out first and then I'm gonna come back. Christmas stuff, y'all. How pretty. Y'all, this is super cute. I just need to know the price. These pillows be like $30. Like, this is a $30 pillow. It's cute, though. Very neutral. And I'm looking for something just like really neutral. This is an Ugg pillow. $50. And Zane is just gonna tear it up. I have some counters, y'all, but I just spent almost $300, <laughs> so I don't need any candles. There's only 10. <laughs> I'm a pet mom now. I think about my dog when I'm out, when I'm shopping. Period. Like this is so cute. Like I just need to move so my aesthetics can change because I'm trying to do all of this and I can't because I have like a bunch of like glass. <laughs> so I'm trying to move more into this like bohemian, rustic, natural, you know, earth tone type of thing. If that makes sense. <laughs> like these beds are so cute, but Zane, he's just gonna tear them up. He's always trying to tear his like bed up now. Yeah, I think I'm done in here. So this is what my card is looking like so far for Christmas. I'm actually going to be eliminating some things. Yeah, my hair is looking so bad, but I'm actually going to be eliminating some things. Sorry if you can't hear me because I'm not trying to spend too much money in here. So yeah. All right, you guys, so I made it back home and hey, 
Okay, and I'm just going to give you a mini haul of everything that I got. Um, it's actually a lot, but not a lot. I went to my storage to actually get some things to, um, some Christmas things, so or Christmas decor so I can put it up. So the first place we went to is Bath and Body Works. So I'm gonna show you what I got from there. Girl, I spent almost $300 in Bath and Body Works. Um, sorry if you hear Zane, but yes, we got some hand soap. I think the hand soap was like five for 26. You guys know that Bath and Body Works is always having a sale. So we have this. I'm gonna try and go through it like quickly. We have the ice blue lavender. I have the sweater weather. I have the winter candy apple. I got the frozen lake. You probably can't see it, but. And I have the vanilla bean Noel. So yes, these are the hand soaps that I got. I got 10 wall scents. They were having a, um, I think it was like five or yeah, five for like $26 or something like that. Okay, girl, I got a count. Um, so I got flannel, marshmallow fire size. I got four marshmallow fire size. Like, y'all, that is my scent. Okay, that is literally my scent. I got blueberry, sugar, frosted coconut snowball, pink fairy gumdrop, sugared snickerdoodle. And I got these two candle holders here. I thought these are really, really cute. And I actually got these for free because, you know, your girl be spending too much money at Bath and Body Works, so. Do y'all say caramel or caramel? I say caramel, uh, but I got um, caramel drizzle. And don't be in the comments trying to tell me the correct way to say something, cause it's tomato tomato, okay? And I got marshmallow fireside. I think this packaging is just so simplistic and just like sleek. Y'all, marshmallow fireside is that scent, okay? It is literally that scent. I got another sweater weather because, oh, I do like this scent. It burns funny, but I do love this. Oh, it smells so good. And y'all, I'm so sorry that it's not focusing. <laughs> I got vanilla snowflake. I like anything, y'all. I don't know why I'm sitting here doing this. <laughs> I did this the last time. I'm sitting here doing this like y'all can smell it. I just mean to show y'all the packaging. Like, this is super cute. I did like this. Yeah, so we got mahogany balsam. Probably can't see it. We have champagne toast. The packaging, okay, it's the packaging for me. I have spiced gingerbread here. Zane is so upset. But yeah, spiced gingerbread, which smells really good. Like this is going to be a kitchen scent for me. The packaging, okay, let's, let's get into this packaging. Wow. We have the frosted cranberry. I had to get flannel again because I gave my dad the other flannel that I had. Um, so yes, I had to go ahead and just pick that up again. And the last thing I got, let's focus, was another marshmallow fire size. So this is the last thing I got. So the next place I went to was Home Goods, and I got a few things from Home Goods um, to decorate for Christmas. Um, I got this sign here. Um, it's a holiday wall decor, but I'm actually going to put it out on my balcony. And it says Believe with a little bow here. God dang, can I talk? Um, it says Believe with a bow here at the top. I got a pillow, which I think I'm gonna put on my couch. It just depends. Some of the stuff I may take back, but I have this pillow right here. It says Peace, Love, Joy. On the back, it just has like, you know, stripes and like some little faux buttons right here. That's cute. I got this throw right here it's just a decorative throw i can't explain like the material of this um but just like knit oh i wish i would have seen this because <laughs> baby discount but anyway no um it's like a decorative throw here and um it has you know like what you would call these like little tassels here at the end um you probably can't see it but it's kind of like a, a cream color it's super cute and i'm just gonna put this on my couch and I also got Zayn a throw, even though like, you know, he's probably gonna like mess it up, but not really. But I just got him this like reversible throw. It's super cute. Um, and it's just a neutral like vibe. And I think that's what I'm kind of going for like this Christmas, just something that's very neutral, um, not doing too much. 
and also these are going to be transitioning to like my next you know the core next thing i got was this um candle holder it's like this frosted candle holder i also got this one which is slightly smaller than this one you know just to give it some dimension and i'm going to put this on my table i don't know what these are but these are by the um cake stand so i think this is kind of like you know for food like the whole food as opposed to these being candle holders i don't know sis but i got these to go here on the bar but yeah i got two of these but i have this cake holder bam all right the next thing i got is this pillow i didn't really like this pillow for like <laughs> the cat I actually just like it for the back. It was very small and quaint. It's actually one on my balcony. I also got this right here and it says Mary Wolfmas. And I thought like this with this would be cute. So yeah, we got that. I got Zane a few toys, which I'm about to give to him. But I got this um, little dog right here. Very neutral, super cute. I like this. And I also got him another sweater. Cause you guys know I love taking pictures of Zane and I thought this is super cute, like this little sweater. And um, it might be a little bit too big, but he'll use it as a house coat. Like he won't go out in this sweater. <laughs> Lastly, I went to Target. I got this blanket, Casa Luna blanket that I got from Target. It's in the color, it's knit blanket and it's in the color natural they have it but yes it's a full slash queen all right last few things i got from target i got i'm trying out this ever spring um liquidless reed diffuser so i'm trying this out i got these febreze light air sea spray and then tiktok been putting me on i know y'all probably been on but TikTok been put me one. But I got these OxyClean. Um, I got the Versatile Odor and Stain Remover. That, and then I also got the Versatile Stain Remover. But yeah, you guys, so that's all that I got. It is, my battery is going dead, but I got a new battery. It's 6.32 right now, it seems so late. But I'm about to eat some food, and then I'm gonna start like decorating, and I'm gonna show you guys the process. I'm not going to finish the decorating tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to finish it tomorrow because I do have a busy week coming up before I actually head home for Thanksgiving, and I do need to edit tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to do as much as I can tonight. Putting the Christmas tree up, um, entryway, table, things like that, and then, um, I'll try to like actually decorate tomorrow, like um, throwing the Christmas ornaments on the uh, the tree. So yeah.
this morning I looked outside my window Where children lighting up the Christmas tree And the snow is falling It reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day And I am on my way I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you Good afternoon, you guys. So it is November 15th and, and I just got back from Michael's. I just picked up some Christmas pics um, because my Christmas tree is looking real, mm, real, real like slack. I put the uh, ornaments on this morning. I forgot to get a bowl for the top, but I'll worry about that later on this week. Bump is still alive and well. It's actually a little bit bigger. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so as you can see, I changed out my decorations. So it's very like just bright, airy, and like snowy. So yeah, that's that. Currently washing clothes. I'm about to put the pics on the Christmas tree. And what else am I doing? Oh, and then I'm about to edit a video. Um, I'm gonna try and upload it today, but honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> I started a little bit on it the other day, but I still have so much footage to go through. So it's a vlog, um, me prepping for Miami. So you might not get that today. It might be sometime this week though, but I'm just going to be sitting right here, my little comfy spot right here with the computer. And I'm just going to be editing my video. Um, I don't think Zane feels well today, which I'm a little bit sad about, but... Um, I just don't think he feels well. Um, he did have an eventful morning. Um, I did take him on his like normal walk where he, you know, he pooey pee. Also you guys, Zane is lifting his leg. I mean, I feel like a proud mom. He's been squatting for the longest. Now he's lifting his leg. So <sighs> he's becoming a man now. He's becoming a man, okay? <laughs> But, um, so yeah, so he's lifting his leg now, but yeah, um, I took him to a doggy park, but it was no other dogs. Like, luckily it was just him there. Um, yeah, I'm watching life, so I'm watching Christmas movies. But anyway, so, you know, he really got a lot of play, um, running back and forth and things like that. And so I guess he's may he may be just a little bit tired right now. But yeah, here's Zane him in his new sweater and also his new um little toy right here i don't know i don't think he feels well because his paws you see me and mommy see your paw so like i don't know if you can see but this paw looks like normal but this paw right here like you see uh -uh, he's moving it it's okay sweet boy you okay, man? Let mommy see your paw. Like this paw is very red and exposed. Like you see, so I don't know what that is about. Like it looks kind of swollen compared to this paw. Like y'all, you see the difference? Hold on. Like you see the difference? I don't know what is going on, but he has a vet appointment so we can get that taken care of. And like I said, he's probably like tired. You okay, man? Coming home to you. Ooh. I can't wait to hold you. We'll be sitting by the fire and watch our favorite movies on TV. We can do what we want to do. Walk under the moonlight and kiss under the stars It's gonna be like we never were apart Yes, I'm on my way This time I'm here to stay I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you Oh, how much I missed you Spend a stay with you. Yes, I'm coming home to you.
good morning no it's afternoon is it afternoon afternoon good afternoon you guys um so it is november 17th tuesday and i'm actually headed to view this apartment um i am not necessarily trying to move but your girl is trying to move y'all know i just signed my lease in like september um or excuse me not signed my lease i just renewed my lease um in september and um yeah you guys already know i wasn't really it wasn't that i wasn't feeling an apartment like i have now like a different vision and things like that so i was really trying i mean trying to move prior to signing the lease but i really just couldn't find any place that i was like really like wanting to be at or could see myself at so i won't take you into the apartments that um i'm interested in but i am you know let you guys know that i am thinking about like moving yeah sleep you go ahead and go to sleep it's a bedtime it's a bedtime yeah it's a bedtime look at that it's a bedtime oh yeah it's a bedtime yeah bedtime look at that face it's bedtime it's a bedtime yeah it's a bedtime man it's a bedtime yeah go ahead go to sleep bedtime get bedtime yeah it's a bedtime yeah it's a bedtime yeah it's a bedtime yeah there you go all right, so I haven't updated you guys um, in a few days. It is actually Friday, November 20th. But on Tuesday, I went to view some apartments because I am looking to leave this current space, as I was telling you guys. I've been having some consistent issues uh, with this apartment. And I told you guys like this probably a few months back. And I was looking then, however, because of COVID, I wasn't able to do anything um, because of COVID um, and a lot of places not being open and things like that so it was really um it was really a struggle to uh get up and like move so i did end up renewing my lease um and i really didn't want to renew my lease to be honest with you because i did not want to stay here whatsoever but i did end up renewing my lease and um I signed for another just year. Like the first time I signed my lease, it was 16 months, but I signed for just a year because, you know, I feel like it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, like the prices that they try to charge you, you know, when you're when it's less months or whatever. There's people that may follow me at the leasing office that watch my videos, but like I stated in my last video, it's like, you know you know you know what i mean like if you are watching you know it's no shade it's no shots or anything like that like you know what's going on or whatever um but and i don't care because like i don't have any like ties to you at the end of the day i am a resident i pay my money or whatever so i deserve to be comfortable in my living situation regardless but i have this apartment that i actually went ahead and applied to um the other day and it's somewhere that I can definitely see myself at. Um, I'm really, really wanting to uh, live there. It's so beautiful. Um, definitely my style. Definitely a little bit more space, I would, I would say, um, than I have here, which I really don't need much space. Like, I don't need more space. But it gives me the area that I will have for my beauty room. It definitely gives me much more space and um, it's hard with throughout. Like I actually went into the actual unit that I um, applied to. So I see that it was hard, hardwood floors throughout, which I really like. Um, and yeah, so I applied to it. I've been in communication with the people back and forth. So they're still working out like income verification. So they're submitting like the background check and income verification and things like that so we'll see how that goes i'll let you guys know like if i get the apartment obviously i'll post this part portion if not then i ain't posting this okay which i've been in communication with the community manager here so the situation that i'm bringing back to them is not anything that's new we have been going back and forth with for months now, nothing is new. There's a lot of things, a lot of communication that has been in place. So there's nothing new. This is nothing new or whatever. So once I hear back from that apartment, like a, like I should hear back by Monday, he said. So once I hear back from that apartment and everything is solidified, 
then I need to go ahead and send my email to them because I'm planning to move in January. And also like, I understand like with being a social media influencer, like I am not a big social media influencer at all. Like I'm what you call, like I think a macro influencer or whatnot. I understand with being a social media influencer, sometimes you're gonna have people that really, really like you and you don't wanna get to know you or think that you, are, you guys are friends. So I'm trying to word this in the best way possible. <laughs> Because like I said, I'm not a big social media influencer at all. Um, and I'm really like to myself, you know what I mean? But sometimes like when you encounter certain people and they know what you do and they make assumptions about you, um, you know, as far as like with money, like I've, I felt like there's been certain times where people have followed me or know me on Instagram or whatever and they think that I have like millions of dollars. Like they think that I'm like a Jackie Aina. They think that I'm a Ace Family <laughs> type of channel. You know what I mean? Um, and they think that you have like so much money where they try to overcharge you or get over on you and little things like that. So I've encountered those things. I've encountered people who give me fake energy um, because they know like who I am or whatever. Like I said, they kind of make these assumptions or whatever. And then I've also encountered people who just, you know, just do a little bit too much. Like, I don't mind saying this, but one of the leasing consultants told somebody that I lived here, like the actual location. And I was like texting my friends. I was like, you know, isn't that against like privacy? like your privacy policy or something, I don't know. But isn't it against like the law as a leasing consultant to tell your friend, your family member or whatever that so-and-so lives at your uh, your your apartment building or wherever you work at, you know what I'm saying? Like that cannot be right or whatever. And it wasn't on no disrespectful anything or, or you know, it wasn't a malicious intent, you get what I'm saying? But it was still like, it's kind of like disrespectful. Like treat me as if you would treat any other tenant, do not tell my business, do not give my information out or anything like that, that is disrespectful, that is out of order. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't do that. You know what I mean? Like if I was literally a celebrity and I was living here, my shit need to be confidential. You can't do that. But I'm not going to bring that to them on the reason why I want to, you know, terminate my lease. Um, because again, I don't want to get that person in like trouble because like I said, it was not on any malicious type of, you know, intent. Like she didn't mean anything by it, I'm pretty sure. And the reason why I know that because the person DM me on Instagram and was like, you know, hey, I'm not gonna get the context of the message. And they was like, hey, I know you live in such and such where my such and such works. Um, I was wondering if I can do X, Y, Z. It was like trying to like get me to promote something or like work with them, collaborate with them on something or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like you should have just left that such and such told you that I lived here and just went through like, hey, work with such and such because I don't know such and such, <laughs> okay? Like, I'm not saying her name, but you know, like, I don't know such and such. Like, you know, I just know her from me coming to tour the apartment and um, just small interactions that we've had. That's it. Me and such and such are not cool. Such and such shouldn't be telling you that I live here and, you know, trying to tell you to talk to me to promote your products or whatever. Like, that's wrong. You know what I mean? And like I said, they don't mean anything by it. It was very, it was a harmless message, I know, but that's annoying. Good afternoon, you guys. It is Tuesday, November 24th. So we're about two days from Thanksgiving. Um, I just wanted to come on and update you guys. Like I really haven't been doing much lately. Um, I had to refilm some videos. Um, I'm about to drop a video today, which is a Shein Black Friday haul. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love that. And I'm actually um, just picking out some clothes for my Boohoo collaboration that I have coming up. But yes, you guys, I wanted to come on here and tell you that your girl is moving, okay? I am moving. I am moving from this apartment. Um, I am super excited. I have a lot of work to do. I'm literally selling everything in my apartment except for like my beauty room decor um, because that's coming with me to the new place as well as um, some of my room stuff. 
Um, but yeah, I'm I'm legit like I'm legit selling everything, and it's gonna be a whole new vibe for me, something completely different. So I'm ready. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to just continue to do this work. So yeah. All right. Good morning. Uh, look at Zane in the background. Um, good afternoon, you guys. Look at Zane in the background. <laughs> So it is actually Friday, November 27th. So it is Black Friday and we're actually headed back to Charlotte. So um, we went to my parents' house uh, for the Thanksgiving holiday and um, I'm headed back home now. As you guys know, like I haven't really been vlogging. I definitely didn't vlog Thanksgiving because I really wanted it to be, you know, just personal and intimate um, because I just, yeah, like I said, I just really haven't been feeling like vlogging or anything like that. Like on Thanksgiving, I just look forward to just being with my family. So really quick, I am going to end the vlog today. I'm just gonna be very busy the next few weeks and I'm just gonna be packing. Um, so my design miss weeks will just really consist of me like packing for like the whole month of December. You guys have literally been here every step of the process, especially like my day ones. Like my day ones, I see you guys and y'all always keep up with me. Y'all always make sure that, you know, you are watching me and, and all of that. And I, and I so appreciate, so I definitely want to give you guys the inside scoop and let you guys know. I mean, whoever watches this vlog, but you know what I mean. Like I really wanted to give you guys the inside scoop and let you guys know that I am moving. Um, and I am going to take you guys on this process with me so you'll be able to see everything. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Always, thank you so much for watching.